The Cabinet has unveiled a same-sex marriage bill that it will introduce to the Legislative Yuan for debate. The bill gives same-sex couples the right to adopt children, medical rights and other legal protections granted in the Civil Code. But marriage as defined in the Civil Code will remain as between a man and a woman. The Legislative Yuan is expected to vote on the bill by May 24th, a deadline imposed by the Constitutional Court. In May 2017, the Constitutional Court ruled that the Civil Code's ban on same-sex marriage was unconstitutional. The Court ordered that legal amendments be made to comply with its ruling within two years. With the deadline almost up, the Executive Yuan has unveiled its bill for same-sex marriage. Because we all must comply with the ruling of the Constitutional Court, the Executive Yuan has decided to call this bill the Enforcement Act of Judicial Yuan Interpretation No. 748. With the title of this bill, we did our best to adopt neutral language. There are precedents that we were able to turn to. For instance, we referred to the Act to Implement the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. Conservative groups came out on top in last year's referendums, which called for regulating same-sex unions under a new law that's separate from the civil code. Out of respect to the referendum results, our proposal will not seek amendments to the Civil Code. The Civil Code's definition of a marriage as being between a husband and wife will remain completely untouched. The bill that we will submit will provide equal protection to the marriage right of same-sex couples. The Cabinet's bill grants same-sex unions the same protections of the Civil Code, including inheritance rights, medical rights and the right to adopt. The bill defines same-sex unions as a monogamous union.